Hello everyone and welcome back to another, a very exciting chess game. In this chess game we have Rudolf Spielmann with the white pieces and his opponent was Max Walter, the Czechoslovak chess champion from 1923 and L Rudolf Spielmann was one of the leading chess players of his time. He even had equal record against Capablanca. His lifetime record against Capablanca was even. 7 draws, 2 wins for each. So let's see what happened in this chess game. This game was played in 1928. So Spielmann played e4, we have c6, the Karokan defense, knight to f3 and this is known as the two knights variation of the Karokan defense. Knight to f6, e5, knight gets in, queen to e2, exchanging the knights and capturing away from the center and this also opens the bishop b6, knight to d7, c5, and attacking the knight, but Spielmann is not defending the knight. He played e6, which was not a romantic move, it was a logical move. We have f takes on e6, not capturing the knight because of queen to b5, and you can only block with a piece, not capturing back with the piece, a not capturing back with the pawn and getting back the piece, but e takes on f7 is better. After king takes on f7, queen takes on d5, forking the king and the rook. So king takes on f7 is the only move and then capturing the rook and white is winning. So in this position after e6, f takes on e6 and then queen to h5 and was this a blunder? But we have king to d7, not pushing the pawn and both of the pieces is under attack. But what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? If g6? Well, of course, then queen to e5 and how to defend this rook? Attacking the rook so there is no time for capturing the knight. If defending the rook, then knight takes on e6 and white is winning. So after queen to h5, desperately taking the king to a walk and knight to f3, king to c7, knight to e5, aiming on f7, developing the bishop, knight to f7, pinning the knight and then queen to e5. After moving the king, not capturing the rook, Spielmann is going for the checkmate. So we have c4, of course, if capturing the knight or if something else, then black is getting checkmated. So in this position, closing the bishop and then queen to c7, still checking the king and then knight to d8. So knight is supporting the queen on b7, developing the knight, checking the king, pushing the pawn, and where is the king going? So we have king to c5 and it is white to move. Now what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? So white has a very good move in this position but can you spot that move? What would you do? Okay, so this is what Rudolf Spielmann played. Sacrificing the queen on c6. What an amazing king hunting by Rudolf Spielmann. And bishop takes on c6 is the only move. And then knight takes on e6. Check mate. An amazing and a very beautiful king hunting by the final romantic of chess. And I hope you have enjoyed watching this chess game. And I hope to see you next time with more interactive, amazing chess games. Take care and bye bye.